because it is a hot mess at the moment. I'll show you some shots of it later. And yes, I thought I might film the journey. So this is currently what the pantry looks like. So we have all of our alcohol up at the top. And then uh, we've got like baking goods, some spices over here. We have random snacks, breakfast things, and canned goods, pastas, and some random like garnishes, I guess you would call them, like onions, garlic, capsicum, and some rice as well. And then at the bottom is just like all of the shopping stuff. So this is what it currently looks like. So as a first step, I'm gonna take out everything from the pantry and then clean all of the shelves. Afterwards, I'm going to organize all of the pantry things and then put them back into their shelves. Sounds simple, but I have a feeling it's going to take longer than expected. majority of the pantry I've left the top not cleaned for now because I don't have enough space anywhere anymore to put all the pet pantry stuff and also it's just all alcohol so I'll reorganize it at a later time and then at the bottom I've also not touched it because again space issues it's looking a little bit dirty with some random bits so I will clean this area first and then I'll start reorganizing the different sections I think this top area I'll do it as baking and spices as per usual but a bit better organized in this middle row here we will keep our cereals and our snacks and then in the bottom our main cooking items down here like your pastas your canned goods and whatnot I ended up ordering some containers, organization things. This is what I got with all the containers. I will be putting some of the packaged stuff into these containers so it's a little bit easier to grab things. So I've got my Sharpie and I've also got my masking tape to add labels to these since I don't have all the really nice fancy labels and a lot of the things we do have are not your typical labels I guess you would find for example rice glutinous flour they wouldn't have or citron pepper so just using masking tape Pinterest before trying to look up pantry organization ideas and I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of overwhelmed there's so many options and I have so much stuff that I also don't have the equipment for it so I think I will need to drop by Ikea or Kmart to get more organization things like boxes and containers jars so I don't think this will be fully complete by today to be honest I'm on my way to Kmart to get more things because I couldn't finish the pantry organization yesterday and I wrote down a list of all the things that I need to get so hopefully everything's available and I can get the rest and finish organizing the pantry.
this is today's haul. So we've got a couple of the bigger glass canisters over there and then we've got some smaller ones and we also do have a couple of containers as well just to store some random things and we've got that basket just to conceal anything that's not regularly used but using one of the boxes just to store the kind of the garnishes this one's sprouting so much then for the pantry I've already started storing like the snacks into one of these drawers and I'll need to take the label off that as well finished organizing everything into its relevant jars and I'm gonna put them in the shelf but before that I want to rearrange the order so initially I said like the snacks and spreads and the breakfast stuff would be in this one and then up the top will be baking and then at the bottom will be all the cooking stuff I'm actually going to swap the cooking with the snacks because more likely I'll be grabbing the cooking stuff than the snacks so I think if it's at an easy to reach height then that will be more effective Thank you. 
everything and I'll give a closer look as well into everything that I did and how I organized it but there's still a few things that I want to still get so then it's fully complete but otherwise I think this is good enough for what it is so in the first level we can see we've got all of our baking ingredients and going from right to left so I've got all of my little bits and pieces of baking in here so i've got like my yeast my baking powder my baking soda so vanilla essence that's all in there and then here we have all of our jars full of ingredients that would generally be kind of additional not the main bulk like not your flours so we do have cornstarch up here we do have glutinous rice flour and i also did organize it by color and then we've got some loose items here we have all of our main flours so these ones are essentially there to make life a little bit easier when it comes to baking or doing any deep frying because then it'll be easier to just get a measuring cup and just scoop it out rather than having to kind of like shake the flour into a bowl. Now in the next level here, again from right to left, this level is everything to do with cooking ingredients. So here we've got our tinned goods with some things that we would use on a regular basis. So for example, tomato paste, gochugaru. And then in this section, this is stuff that it's like less used, but it's still accessible and visible as well. And over here, we've got all of our ingredients that we would generally use for like a long braise slow cook so we've got like our star anise our cinnamon quill dried chili Sichuan peppers and then here we've just got like some other random ingredients like powders and then in this box over here i've just put all of the extra noodles and then over on this side i've got some random noodles that didn't actually fit into this box and i had this sort of spare jars and then for all of like the loose garnishes so for example your onions your shallots your garlics it's all in here and i like that this is non-slip so even if i try to push it it won't slip now for this final bit again starting from the right side we've got all of our breakfast things and over here we've got all of our spreads so for example i've got all of the different types of peanut butters and just some other random snacks so they've just all kind of been put together in this area that's kind of it in terms of the pantry tour hopefully it brings good uses out of it anyway i will catch you later bye